it's an absolutely beautiful day. I'm now here at Ecrin because about a quarter of an hour ago the course of my day completely changed. I was starting to lure or attempting to lure Welsh clearing at Sherwood Forest Country Park. Noticed two Red Admirals go through and two painting ladies. That's why I'm here. We've got some butterfly migration in progress. Now, just on my way up to this high point here, just above this bit of meadowland at Ecrim, it's a good vantage point because it means I can scan across the tops of the crops in those fields. In the process of walking the 100 metres or so from the car, three Red Admirals have already gone through and they're hurtling through at a rate of knots. I dare say painted ladies are going to be with them. This could be some day. Not a bad view to be gawping at for the next hour or so. Depends on how well this migratory event continues. I have had five Red Admirals go through now. The one was, last one was a couple of minutes ago. And there's been a large white go through as well. You can tell migratory large whites, or genuine migrant large whites, by the flight. It's a direct flight, usually across open ground or land such as this. I've got a crop on this side and remnants of oil seed rape here. This oil seed rape, with it being quite tall, does mean that any red admirals will be quite high but they'll also still be easy to spot as a silhouette going through. But fly migration on any notable scale in spring is very rare. I haven't seen Painted Lady go through here yet. I imagine it's just a matter of time though. But to see five Red Admirals within about 10 minutes of getting here, that really is significant in the spring. Well, it's slowed down. There's been, well, a Red Admiral's just gone through northwest like the others, or north northwest like the others. That was at 12.12, and there was one at 12.02 that went through the same. And they're the only ones really since like 11.45 ish. We'll see what happens. It can go like this. Although the count of red admirals that I have now at the moment, which is I believe six, if I look in my filing system, six is the highest single count of red admirals I've ever had in any spring before. Nationally, there'll be quite a movement going on. But this is one of them events that will remain largely under-recorded, actually, of butterflies moving through at least. People may well notice an increase in butterflies of red admirals on their local patches or in the gardens. But these butterflies are really hurtling through. This is the first day after several days of overcast and gloomy conditions with rain, which and that's probably led to this move northwards or north northwest by red admirals we shall see what happens in the meantime i will continue to stare over there I do find 
butterfly migration is especially interesting. Even when I was doing birds years ago, it was the visible migration of birds that really took over my interest. I sort of moved away from chasing rarities in Nottinghamshire to recording visible migration. Migration is just an absolute marvellous spectacle. Catch it on a good day, whether it's birds or more rarely butterflies, it's an incredible few hours or a day. Not to everyone's taste or their cup of tea, I suppose. They would look upon it as time stood around being time wasted. And that's understandable if your time's limited. I'm lucky because mine isn't. But one of the things I enjoy about it is the fact nobody else does it. People aren't aware that that red abroad painted lady briefly going through the garden could be extremely significant on a national scale. That's how the big movements that we had of painted ladies in the last sort of 20, 30 years have been picked up. You could be out in the field, notice a couple of butterflies hurtle past you. Butterflies that are in territory or local to the area don't do that. If it's painted lady or red emerald and it's hurtling right through relatively low to the ground, it means some migrations happening. Sometimes though you can race out to somewhere like Ekring to a good vantage point and there'd be nothing. That's happened many times. And here's a red abro now, in fact it's a female here, pausing to lay on a nettle. And away she goes, look. Going through there and off. I'm going to see if I can find my take. Well, I've given it an hour. Total of 10 red admirals and two large whites going through in that hour. It's not worth me continuing. There's going to be no real big count. But this has been a significant event. 10 might not seem like a lot. But for someone who's looked out for and watched the migration of butterflies for several decades, 10 is a significant figure. 11. It always happens. You're just about to round something up and along comes another at 12.45. So that's 11 red rolls through in an hour and five minutes. And I've got another five minutes before I get back to the car and home for a much needed and deserved pint.